You're watching DVTV, North Texas's leading source for online LGBT video. Hey everyone, welcome to this Monday, June 18th edition of DVTV. I'm Ben Briscoe. Local LGBT activists are calling this weekend's runoff elections Bloody Saturday. Not a single one of the four openly gay candidates won their races. In Dallas's District 3 City Council runoff, Dave Newman beat gay Joseph Hernandez 52% to 48. In Cedar Hill, incumbent Malika Epi beat gay Jason Russell 58 to 42. Frisco, David Prince beat gay candidate Chris Moss 66 to 34 percent. And finally, in the Dallas mayoral race, Tom Leppert beat gay Ed Oakley 58 to 42. But even though all four lost, many LGBT leaders, including Oakley himself, are saying that this doesn't mean a setback for gay rights in Dallas. Tears filled Oakley's eyes as he started his concession speech with a reference to what many said was his sexual orientation. Only in America and only in Dallas, Texas, could this have happened. And let me tell you, uh, you look back and you wonder how you got there, and you wonder what's going to happen next. That question is also on the mind of many LGBT leaders as a new mayor whose gay friendliness is unclear at best is ready to take office. We'll have uh, a majority of the council will be new with a new mayor and literally anything could happen and, and we'll have to just keep our eyes on this new council. That's exactly what Dallas Gay and Lesbian Alliance President Pete Webb advocates his organization doing next. We have to reach out and work with all of the freshman uh, city council representatives, um, including whomever's elected as mayor, um, to work with him um, and work with them uh, to make sure our voices continue uh, to be heard and uh, our rights are protected um, and continue to be a presence in Dallas. As Dallas's hope for a gay mayor exits the stage, Oakley stressed that this is not the end of LGBT rights in the community. It really blows my mind that we have, we as a city have grown, and that we as a community have grown, and I, I'm very proud of where we are. <laughs> We're really going to set the doubt of the city on a great a path of brightness. All of the LGBT leaders I spoke to at the party said that Oakley's sexual orientation played an insignificant role in him losing the election. In fact, they say if anything, it helped him out. Among the five precincts that Stonewall Democrats identifies as heavily gay populated, voter turnout was at 29.3 percent, more than double the rest of the city. The main thing they said caused the loss? Lots of rain. Each pointed out that Democratic voters are notorious for letting bad weather keep them away from the polls. For a complete election breakdown, make sure to pick up Friday's copy of The Dallas Voice. And join us again for more news and entertainment at DallasVoice.com. You can also catch us always on demand at Oakland.tv. From Dallas, Texas, I'm Ben Briscoe, and this has been your life, your news, your voice.